Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching Georgia Beer Reviews. Back at you today with another one. What I'm looking at is a beer from Kettlehead Brewing Company out of Tilton, New Hampshire. This is Moon Rover. It's a double IPA clocking in at 8% ABV. Never had it before. Kettlehead uh, makes some really good IPAs, so pretty excited about this one. Uh, the date, <clears throat> January 19th. 2023 to the moon and back it is february 1st so super fresh can let's go ahead and pour it up it's a good looking beer in the glass right there very juicy Pretty much opaque, can't see through it. A little bit of light coming through, but that's about it. Orange, bright orange color. About a one finger off-white creamy looking head. The aroma, mango, orange, a little bit of pineapple. Some wheat. A little bit of a funk with this one, kind of like a, it's interesting. It's almost got like a little bit of like a saison barnyard type thing with the aroma. But it smells very pleasant. None of the alcohol coming through at 8% on the nose. Doesn't smell boozy at all. It smells like a nice juicy IPA. So without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers. Wow, this is really nice. Um, all the fruit flavors that I mentioned on the palate or on the aroma transferring nicely to the palate. Orange, mango. There is um, a little bit of pineapple as well, but you know what that... So I'm, I'm getting the wheat malt character that I was picking up on the nose is coming through on the aroma, but it's actually more than just a wheat malt type of thing. There's a biscuity cracker-like flavor that I'm getting in the middle of the sip with this one. Mm. Almost a little bit of a a biscuity quality in the middle. There's almost there's a a sweetness too that's kind of almost like cookie like, like a sugar cookie type of thing. There's a lot going on with this one. It's unique. It's a lot different than some of the other juicy IPAs that I've had recently. But it does start off with that nice tropical fruit and citrus with the orange citrus notes, the mango, touch of the pineapple, the bready with the breadiness with this one. That malt backbone is really off the charts. The uh, That biscuity breadiness with the little bit of a sugar cookie type of thing. There's an herbal note on the finish as you swallow it down from the hops that I'm, that's also there. That's very nice. And throughout it all, no booziness, juicy from start to finish, no drying effect going down to indicate that it's a high alcohol beer. This is as crushable as it gets for an 8%er, I can tell you that. Really a unique product. I've had so many of these juicy IPAs recently. This one really stands out. It's got some different malt character in the middle. That's really nice. Um, you get all the nice fruit flavors. They're very fresh and um, enjoyable. And it's super juicy. I mean, I don't really know what else you could ask for in a beer like this. Um, one more sip. Carbonation is medium, body is medium. It's very refreshing and juicy. I really like the, the malt backbone with this one with that biscuity, the, the cracker, and that sugar cookie type feel to it. Really nice, enjoyable beer. 
it's got a little bit of everything. And then on the back end, you get that, um, that herbal and earthy kind of hop bite. It's not a bitter beer by any stretch of the imagination, but it, de it definitely has a little bit of a bite on the finish from the hops. Outstanding product. I'm gonna go with a 97. 97 out of 100. It's bordering on world-class for the style. It is unique. It's a lot different than some of the other uh, juicy IPAs that I've had recently, particularly with whatever malt um, bill they're using with this one. Very nice and enjoyable and complex and different. So 97 out of 100 for the Moon Rover from Kettlehead Brewing Company out of Tilton, New Hampshire. Buy it, try it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. That'll do it for this beer review, guys. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Till next time, everybody. Cheers.